Hey, what's up guys? It's Corey here with Dapper Dollars. And today we're gonna to talk about what is the new addition to my stock portfolio. You ready? Let's get started. So this channel is all about using online income opportunities like Merch by Amazon and Etsy to build income online and invest this income in things like the stock market and real estate. If that sounds like something you're interested in, like and subscribe and let's get started. Now to start off a little bit, I do have a social media that I have created so that you can get in touch with me if you want to have a personal conversation with me or just see what I do throughout my day and the stuff that I have information on as far as the stock market and making income online. It's just not YouTube worthy and I hope I have all that stuff there. So at Dapper Dollars on Instagram if you want to follow me there. So anyway, let's get started. You might notice that there is a difference in my stock market portfolio right now. And that's because I sold one stock to gain another. And that stock that I sold was Carnival Cruise Line. And it is a little sad because this is the stock that got me into the stock market in 2020. This is the stock that most people got hyped on and really excited about and wanted to see it explode. And I think it can explode into the future, but there are just a few things that I want to talk about that made me too nervous to proceed. And I saw a better opportunity in uh, this new uh, stock that we're going to talk about. So what is it that is most concerning about Carnival is mostly the fact that they are taking on an insane amount of debt. And right now they can only float themselves for about 13 to 12 more months. And then they're going to have to either go out of business or take on additional debt. Now, this is not a terrible thing because Carnival is an insanely profitable cruise line. They threw off insane dividends in the past, so once they get back out there, they're going to definitely have a massive income and a massive comeback. However, this is a risk. This isn't like you th were guaranteed that Carnival is going to make it. A lot of these crews, Carnival is one of the best poised to actually make it through, but we don't know. And most of that is because of the regulations that have been put on cruises from not just the U.S., but other countries around the world. They are way too, not way too strict, but they are very strict on these cruise lines. And it's true that they would be a massive vector of transmission for the COVID-19 virus. And it's just something that we don't know how it's going to go. And we don't know how the U.S. is going to treat it. We don't know how other countries are going to treat it. There is no unified answer that we've seen on when everything is going to pick back up and be able to start again. So for that reason, I'm out. For the debt, I'm out. And it's just the, um, sorry, I've got a few things written down. The fact that it was a trendy decision is something that was a little, you know, unsettling to me. Every time I looked at my stock portfolio, I was excited about every other stock that was in there except for Carnival. Carnival just felt like one of those obligatory nostalgic stocks that I had in there. I believed in the future of it to a point, but at the same time, every time I opened my portfolio, I was like, well, is it going to go? Are they going out of business today? Is something going to happen? Is this stock even going to be there anymore? And I don't know. I found this other stock and I was much more excited about it, much more excited about the future of it. And so Carnival had to go and it paved the way for a new stock. So what is this new stock? It is at home. Ticker symbol H-O-M-E. Now, this is also a bit of a nostalgic stock because I bought this stock around 185 a dollar 85 cents per share back in i think march or april of uh, 2020 and i wound up selling around four dollars so this was my introduction to the stock market in a way that i made a ton of money off of just one stock i say a ton of money i only put like 200 dollars on this stock and then i got what eight to seven hundred dollars out of it which is you know pretty great just starting out but I didn't know hardly anything about at home. I just saw that a company that I knew of was around $1.85. So I was like, well, I mean, I'm pretty sure they're going to make it or they're going to do something. So I'll buy it. And then it went to four something. And then I was like, well, that's a pretty great profit. I'll just go ahead and cash out. Now I'm revisiting this stock because at home it has a location in my uh, city and I see this uh, store every day. And I think to myself, what about this store and what about this stock is keeping it going so much? And so I took the time in the last few weeks to look over at home and I see that it has some massive potential. So 
let's talk about the potential of at-home stock. Number one, it is gaining traction in the uh, industry as far as being a popular place to go for you know decorating your home. If you look at Google Trends, it has been on a constant rise, which if you know me, you know that that is what I often look for. I don't want to invest in companies that are on the downtrend as far as people forgetting about the company and losing interest as far as the, you know, the buying population goes. I don't want to be in a company that people are forgetting about. But at home is definitely on the rise in that area. They are killing it as far as <clears throat> the uh, potential growth they have in front of them and the potential valuation and value that they have in the future because right now they're valued at just over a billion dollars with 219 stores currently in service. So 219 stores and their market cap is just over a billion. This just blows my mind because the market cap is what, a, what this company would sell for right now. Now, there are a few things that are going to play into this a little bit later, and we'll talk about that. But right now, just to think that it has, they have 219 stores. Let's go ahead and say they might be valued at a million and a half per store generously. This is an insane valuation because just for the properties themselves, not including the inventory that's in the property, I would think it'd be well over a billion dollars. But anyway, so I think that this stock is definitely undervalued right now. And so I'm buying in for also that reason. Now, like we said, 219 stores, they've got under a billion dollar market cap, and it is just one of these stocks that has an amazing potential. So this is what at home has done in the past. Let's talk about what at home is likely going to do in the future and what I believe sets them up for massive success in the future well they have an insane ability to resist amazon and this is you know a lot of brick and mortar stores would kill to be in the situation that at home is in because what is one thing that you feel like you probably need to see before you buy for your home well most everything <laughs> whenever it comes to furniture pillows curtains chairs tables at home sells all of these things and yes, some people do, you know, buy solely what they see online. You know, I built a podcast studio at the place that I work and we built everything based off of what we saw online. Now, whenever it came to knickknacks, lamps, rugs, and things like that, those were bought in person. And those are things that Amazon does not do. Well, at home does, Amazon does not do. You can't go to Amazon to see what it would look like and get the actual color. Yes, Amazon makes it easy to order and then send it back. But, you know, if you're looking for something for your home, whether it's seasonal or whether it's for your, you know, just general home, like to have on to have as decorations year round, you want to know and be able to go somewhere and see it, maybe bring it back to your home the same day, look at it and then maybe take it back or purchase it. At home gives people the opportunity to do this, which makes them incredibly resistant to Amazon in the future. Now, they also have growing revenues that have continued to grow since they've started, even through 2020, which is an amazing thing because remember, 2020 was the time whenever everything shut down. Everything shut down. But at home, continued to grow their revenues through 2020. So this is an amazing you know, insight that at home is definitely here to stay. And even a uh, you know global sickness could not keep them down. So growing revenues, ability to resist Amazon, and they are poised to uh, take advantage of the ma massive migrations that are happening right now. Number one, we have the massive migrations to zero income tax states like Texas, like Nevada. There are a few others I'm probably forgetting, but we have all seen that people are fleeing places that have insanely high tax rates like New York and California and they're going to these zero or low income tax states so that they can live better. You know, being from Texas, and if you watch the show, uh, what is it, Fixer Upper, you'll see that property prices are much lower in Texas. You get a lot more for what you get. And the same with Nevada. You're able to get a much bigger home. I mean, just check out Graham Stephan's channel whenever he moved from California to Vegas. For the same price, he was able to probably triple, if not quadruple, 
the square footage of his home. So people are moving to these places. Now, if they get a new home and they had a smaller home before, or they're moving from apartments to the suburbs, what are they going to need to do? They're going to need to furnish their home. Now, like we just talked about, you can't really do this easily just by going to Amazon. You need to be able to go to a place to actually see what will work together and maybe walk around the store and have those key pieces together to match different items together. Where can you do that? Well, at home, like we said. At home is poised for the to uh, take advantage of this in the future. And also they are wanting to have 600 stores open by, I don't know if they have a specific date in mind, but they're open, looking to have 600 stores in the future. And right now they only have 219. So that's more than doubling what they currently have to meet this demand in the future. So we're guaranteed, almost guaranteed to have this doubling of, if not the share price, then the value of the company. So the future for at home is just insane. And it is much more solid of a play for me than Carnival Cruise Line. So I'm much more comfortable with at home. I think I, oh, this is a terrible pun. I'm going to feel more at home with at home than I will on Carnival Cruise Line. But terrible pun aside, that's where I am sitting right now. And we also briefly addressed the fact that there is a migration of people going to the suburbs from the urban districts, you know, people moving from the inner city to the outer city, because in the inner city, you're most likely going to get a smaller apartment that's more expensive. And for that same price, you can get a home outside of the city, live outside of the city, commute a little bit to work, or just, you know, work remotely like most people are right now and get the benefits of having a bigger home. And like we said before, people who move to a bigger place are going to need to furnish that place and at home solves this problem. So there are a few issues with this stock. There are some genuine concerns that I have, and this is mainly the reason that I sold out in the first place. Their debt to uh, cash on hand is not good. Not really good at all. I think they've got 33 million on hand right now, and their uh, current debt is at least in the hundreds of millions. So this is a precarious situation for at home. Bankruptcy is definitely not a factor. I don't see bankruptcy being the case. However, it's just not a good thing for their cash on hand right now. And hopefully they, they do something to, if not issue more, issue warrants in the future or do something. I would be okay with them honestly diluting the share price to get more cash on hand and be able to move forward safer and open up uh, additional stores with more structure within the company and not have to, I don't know, I feel like every, some things are a little bit fragile right now. But anyway, that's one of the issues that I have. Also, there is the issue of the fact that innovation is not exactly at the core of At Home. If you look at At Home and you've gone inside their stores, it is a department store. You know, it's like a grocery store that you go into and there's not much that is disrupting the space of furniture buying and home uh, decor. It's just kind of, it is what it is. Like this is a place to buy furniture. This is a place to buy pillows and, you know, redo your kitchen and things like that. There's not a whole lot of innovation that's being done there and they're not disrupting the system of home decor that much aside from the fact that they are basically Amazon proof. So I believe that the innovation is possible and I believe that once they get the right team in place that it will be possible and I'll be making a video on their team in the future, a video on the at home team in the future. But for right now, I feel like there is definitely the potential for innovation. There is the potential for growth and these things are most of the reason why I bought back into at home and I'm now here to stay for a very long time. That's a terrible pun, terrible pun. <laughs> anyway, so let's talk about the price target before we go. Right now the stock is sitting around $25 a share. And honestly, um, I bought what, four shares or uh, four to five shares. So it's not like I'm building a massive position. I'm honestly waiting for more weakness in the market. The last few days we've seen kind of a downtrend in the S&P and you know the major markets. So I'm waiting for more of a downtrend there to get us around $20. I'm buying in a little bit here and there between 25 and 23. 
$20 a share, I will be loading the boat for sure. I think I have 800 something dollars to play with right now. I've got money that's also coming in from Amazon and Etsy. So those will, or this will likely be my opportunity to build a strong position if we get some weakness in the market. So, and also I bought into, um, sorry, I just throw this in there. I bought into High Leon again, if you're not interested, or if you're not aware of High Leon, I'll link to that video here that I've done my most recent video talking about High Leon and what they've done. And I think that's it as far as buying the dip on, um, what is this, February 27th, 6th, 7th, anyway. Yeah, so that's about it. At Home is the new uh, member of the stock portfolio. Looking forward to buying heavily around $20, 25 I'm buying here and there. But uh, anyway, looking forward to a great future with this company. Remember, follow me on Instagram, Dapper Dollars, and I think that's it. So y'all have a great weekend, and remember, someone is going to do something amazing every day, guys. Why not you? See you.